Hey, what's up everybody and welcome to your review and unboxing of Carbon Racers Case A. Now there's one quick thing I wanted to mention to you guys about vlogs. So you may have seen on my channel Monday and Sunday that I uploaded two vlogs, vlog one and vlog two. So I just wanted to explain the concept and how I'm going to upload vlogs on my channel. So a few weeks ago I asked on my Google Plus community if anybody would like to see a vlog and I received very good and positive feedback that people actually did want to see vlogs so I thought about it over a few weeks and decided how I was going to upload that and how it would work so on Sunday I actually just had a great idea in my mind and uploaded the vlog and I got some pretty good feedback on it there were some dislikes but I didn't really get too much constructive criticism so if you would like to speak up and tell me what you guys want to see what you guys don't want to see please let me know because I want to please everybody on my channel. Now I know a lot of you guys are here for the cars reviews but I also want to show some like in-store videos because I remember a few months ago I did get some comments saying that you wanted to see some in-store footage so the vlogs will kind of tie in-store footage and kind of real life stuff as well into one and I feel like that might be able to please both audiences audiences that just want to see cars but also want other audiences that want to see vlogs as well so it's kind of hard to explain to you guys but I hope you guys understand I I'm not going to eliminate any uploads these vlogs will be random things that I will just upload when I get to around 10 minutes of good footage like the past two vlogs have been and then I'll upload it but I definitely won't concentrate my channel with vlogs because I go to school five days a week therefore I don't really do much interesting stuff go to school have dinner do homework you know the basic life of a teenager so and my interesting life is really on the weekends when I go on vacation so don't worry if you guys don't want to see that many vlogs because they won't be that often and I there's nothing really much else to say I'd like to get some more feedback from you guys and uh, that's pretty much it about the vlog so now let's get into the carbon racers case now a few things I just wanted to answer about this first of all I got it from get me collectibles who is a great guy he sells plenty of cases and unfortunately though this came in quite a bit later and I know I told you guys I ordered one a long time ago and uh, got you guys excited but now here it finally is it is a little bit late I do apologize about that now contents as you can see 12 pieces which are basically 12 cars I get four Lightning McQueens two Miguel Caminos two Max Schnells two Ray Lucero Rules one Nigel Gearsley and one Lewis Hamilton. Now, for those people that don't even know what carbon racers are at all, it's the new World Grand Prix, or I guess you could say TROC, Transcontinental Racers series that comes after the ice racers. And if you're interested what the next TROC series will be, it's actually going to be called the Carnival Cup, hosted by Carla Veloso. If you wanna see some pictures on that, I believe they're on take five a day, or you could just Google images, Disney Cars Carnival Cup. I'm sure you could see some stuff. I also believe there are some on eBay right now. Now, in my opinion, they're not the best series, but they look all right. I definitely think the Carbon Racers are my favorite. So let's get this open now. This is my third, actually, case unboxing. If you guys didn't know, I actually unboxed two deluxe cases over the summer, which were the deluxe case W and deluxe case Y. And you can check those out in the description below. And you guys seem to really like case unboxing, so I wanted to buy another case. Plus, I uh, these are only available on Amazon right now. Well, actually, I am wrong. Today, or yesterday, I should say, these were found at Toys R Us. The first report of ever finding these at a store, but otherwise they're only available on Amazon and the price on Amazon is quite expensive. They're uh, $7 each and they're actually not add-on items, which is pretty cool, but I didn't want to buy them off Amazon because I felt like I should get a case from uh, Get Me Collectibles and it would be a little bit more interesting video because you guys get to see this case unboxing plus the price is not that much more expensive so you can see the four Lane McQueens on the side here so let's just take those out really quickly you know I should really do this horizontally so the cars don't come tumbling down on me that would probably not be good so here we go we got the Lane McQueen looks really cool we'll take a closer look at the package in a few minutes let me just get them all out of the box kind of don't know where I put these things here's the one Lewis Hamilton 
looking really cool. So I definitely recommend if you see these in a store, your priority should be Lewis Hamilton here. And uh, I believe this is Nigel Gears right here. Oh, no, that's not Nigel. Here he is. But uh, your priority should be these two, Lewis Hamilton, Nigel Gearsley, because these are only one per case. So they'll definitely be harder to find. Whereas Lightning McQueen, there are four per case. And um, let's see what else we got here. We got uh, Raul Cerul, two Miguel Caminos. Here's the second Raul Cerul. So these will be a little bit harder to find than the Lightning McQueens, but definitely uh, still decently easy to find here are the two max schnells and now max schnell actually hosts this race so that's pretty cool first race that he has hosted looks pretty cool and we just got the two lightning mcqueens in there to finish off the case and uh, <laughs> this is actually a pretty awkward case unboxing sorry about that guys just kind of running out of space here. I actually decided to unbox it on my Radio Springs table because of the fact that uh, this is a smaller case than the deluxe cases. So I thought I'd be able to fit them, but um, I may have to reconsider in the future. So let me clear this mess up and we'll take a look at them individually. Let's start with Lightning McQueen. Now I really like the card art on all of these and especially McQueen's because his pose is something we've never seen before. It's completely redesigned and has not appeared on any other card ever before so it's really cool he looks very determined in it and also you can see the daredevil garage app advertisement on the right hand side over here now this will appear on a lot of the new 2016 releases early 2016 and may even be on every 2016 release but i am not 100 percent sure about that and one thing i really like this was started in the ice racer series but they have texturized blisters kind of that fit in with the carbon, I guess, series theme because for the ice racers, the texture bl blister kind of was like sharp ice. And for the carbon racers, it's kind of like uh, tread, something along those lines, like rubber, I guess you could say, but I'm not entirely sure. But I'm really happy that it's textured, kind of adds a little bit more detail to it. So I'm happy about that. You can also see the Carbon Racers logo on the name tag here, which you'll see that a lot, especially that CR right there that pops up on a lot of the racers themselves. So that's basically all for the front of Lane McQueen. Now the back of the package for every one of these Carbon Racers is the same. So we'll just take a look at McQueen's here. You can see McQueen, Machinelle, Miguel Camillo, Raul Cerule, Nigel Gearsley, and Lewis Hamilton. Those are the ones they've released so far. However, Rip Kuchgonski has appeared on eBay in the Carbon Racers version and the listing on Amazon has been created, but there aren't any available. So I assume they'll come out around Christmas time, but I'm not entirely sure. So the description for this series is Max Schnell invites his fellow T Rock or Transcontinental Racers to Nuremberg, Germany. I probably butchered that pronunciation so badly. Excuse it, please. And Germany to take on the world's toughest drag. It has plenty of challenges like hairpin turns and blind corners, but the real hazards are the slow moving race fans using the track. For extra agility and speed, Max equips the racers with lightweight, super strong carbon fiber components and they're off. So it's very nice, of course, the carbon racer or the carbon fiber components and all this darker black stuff that has the kind of lines on it. And we'll take a look at that when I open them up. So let's just look at the card art for the rest of these here. Now, Miguel Camino is my favorite one so far because I really do like his new design spoiler and it just looks really cool. Now, his art is very similar to the Ice Racers art for him. Kind of the same pose, he's driving this way, same expression, I do believe so, but still pretty nice. They did add like these little side things, so it is a new art technically, but similar pose. And that's basically all for Miguel Camino. As I said, the backs are all the same, so I won't show them. Here is Max Schnell, who actually hosts the race, and now this art is very similar to previous art as well. It just looks very boring in my opinion, I've seen this quite a bit. But uh, he does look pretty cool. I like his colors, although it looks very similar to the regular version because the purple and the new carbon components have very similar colors to them. Now here's one that I really like the card art for, this Nigel Gearsley. Looks really nice, I have to say he looks really cool. And uh, I love that expression, just looks really nice, very cool. 
Also, we have Lewis Hamilton here, who is also very nice, kind of similar, uh, I guess, pose as Nigel Gearsy, but they are different. I just wanted to point out that they're kind of in the same pose, but Lewis also looks really nice. Again, not completely different because he already, the colors just aren't changed that much. And we also have Raul Sarul, whose art looks amazing as well. I love how the art matches with the actual diecast as well. It's like almost the same, so that's really cool. Now, I love him as well. I just wanted to kind of, uh, I don't know, acknowledge the uh, Paris situation, the terrorist bombing. So if you guys didn't know about that, it's been on the news lately. And uh, if you guys didn't know, uh, Places in Paris were attacked and there was a hostage situation. It's all over now, but it happened on Friday, last Friday. So yes, I just kind of want to do shout out to Raul here because he is the French racer. So pretty cool art for that. So now we could take a look at all of these loops. First up, we have Carbon Racer Lightning McQueen. Now I'm going to compare these to their normal versions and see what the differences are. And one thing I wanted to mention with the whole Carbon Racer series is that some of these racers actually have redesigned spoilers or wings. So for example here, Lightning McQueen has this new thinner wing on the back here or spoiler whatever you'd like to call it which actually looks really cool and here is the regular version for comparison now i'm really happy that they kind of even changed up the actual model itself rather than just changing the paint scheme so it looks really nice this newer one has a lot thinner design to it. it has these kind of two black i guess bars holding it together there and it says crc which stands for i believe carbon racer cup so that looks really cool there and on the back here also says CRC with a nice little checkered uh, uh, flag logo there. Has the American flag. So obviously they're still representing their countries. And also has the Transcontinental Racers logo. Or Transcontinental Race of Champions. That's what it is. I'm sorry if I said it wrong before. And he's got a really cool look to his uh, lightning bolt here on the side here. It's got kind of all this... I know it would, it's like the carbon fiber mixed in with it and just gives it a really cool look to it because each of these Lightning McQueens in each series has a different like flame bolt to it. If you look at the car or the Carnival Cup that's coming soon, it actually looks really cool as well. Even though it's not my favorite series, I have to say the Lightning McQueen looks decent. So also you can see the actual logo for the car or the uh Carbon Racer Cup there with an actual like trophy there. Now one thing I also wanted to point out with these racers that they that they have new design rims also which look nice and they did they did that with the uh, ice racers and well as well. But these just look really cool because they add some really nice color to the rims there. So you can see it says Lightyear and it's slightly different with McQueen's and you'll be able to see the differences a lot more prevalently when we get to the other one. So it's just a little bit different, a little bit shinier, I guess you could say. Unfortunately, they did use the same expression for both McQueens here, and just looks really cool though. It looks really nice. Got the Hudson Horn Piston Cup logo now. Don't ask me why they outlined that logo in lime green. I have absolutely no idea why they did that. It doesn't necessarily look bad, but it, I'm not sure if it really fits in either, but uh, it, it doesn't look too bad. And uh, it's a nice racer overall. Definitely not my favorite in the whole series of carbon racers, but it looks pretty cool. I like him quite a bit. I'm, I'm glad that they gave him a new spoiler. I'm happy about that. So now let's move on to probably my favorite, actually, Miguel Camino. And now the reason he's my favorite is just I love how the paint scheme, the the black on him just really looks good with the yellow and all of his kind of Spanish designs here. It just looks really nice. And he actually did get a redesigned spoiler as well and kind of gives him a whole new look. If you look at it, he looks like taller now. And I believe he actually does have the same expression. Actually, it's slightly different. The eyes are spread apart a little bit and they're raised, but it's extremely hard to tell. But it actually is slightly different. The mouths are the same. No, actually, they're a little bit different. They're just very slightly different, though. Uh, hard to tell. And they both have the same Spanish logos there, except now he has the uh, carbon fiber components on him. If you look on the side here, it says CRC with his number. And very hard to see, but there is a white logo for the Carbon Racer Cup there. And uh, that's the same logo. If I could pull over McQueen here, that's right there. It's only it's hard to see because they put white on the yellow. And I really think Mattel could have put black on yellow there. So here's where you can see a big difference in the rims. 
So now you can see instead of that gray look to it, it's yellow with a silver rim inside there. It looks really nice and I'm really happy about that. It just gives a great look to the racers. On the back here, there's not too much of a change. It just has the uh, CRC logos, Carbon Racer Cup logos, nothing too much to add. He does have his number on the side of a spoiler and the CRC logo on the top there. So very nice, it actually kind of gives like a shimmer off of it. It looks really cool, I have to say. And uh, he also has the Spain logo right there, MC5, which stands for Miguel Camino 5, uh, and that is not apparent on the regular version. So very nice, also is the uh, TROC logo on the sides here as well. So this is definitely one of my favorites in the series so far. It looks really nice. Now let's take a look at the host of the series of the Carbon Cup, Max Schnell. Now this is one of my least favorites because he doesn't really look too much different from the regular color wise. I mean it just kind of went from purple to like a gray. Now the expression is basically the same. There's a very small difference in the eyes kind of spread apart from each other. but. Mostly it is the same. Now, as you can see, instead of the WTCL logo on his hood, now he has the Carbon Cup logo. He has a yellow front bumper here, which looks really nice. And again, love the rims on him. You got this red kind of rim again, so that looks really cool. He also has the CRC4 logo there. And uh, I'm, I'm liking this new thing that they're putting on these racers. It says the German flag in the MS4, which is Max Schnell 4. So that's really cool that they put kind of like, I don't know, their own designation on there. So that's kind of like a new addition on this series for the racers. I actually believe that was on the ice racers, but I'm not entirely sure. And uh, definitely a lot cleaner. It doesn't have all these World Grand Prix and all in all decos on there. Just a lot cleaner than the original version. Now on the back here it says CRC, some more car or the Carbon Racer logo again, and then the German flag right there. So nothing too exciting on Max Schnell like I said, but uh, he does look pretty cool. His spoiler is the same and it's not redesigned unfortunately, but you can't expect that in all of them. It looks pretty cool though. Now let's move on to actually a really nice one in this series. I'm actually liking this one quite a bit, and that is Raul Cerule. Now, I have to say, I love the expression they gave him. It looks really nice. He's just really determined looking to his left there. It looks really cool. I also love how the blue looks on the gray there for the carbon cup. And here's the regular version. And uh, very nice. Now usually, Raul Cerule doesn't look too different from his original version because of the fact that, I'm not really sure why actually, but it's probably because they only like changed the color for this blue part here. Like for the silver racers, they only changed this blue part and the back here. And for the ice racers, he was already blue, so the difference in color was very minimal. But he still looks really cool on here though. Now one thing that I like about him a lot is the fact that he has these two different mixed rims here. Blue in the front, red in the back. Now no other racer so far has mixed rims so I'm really happy to see that and it looks really good because obviously it's more prominently blue in the front and more prominently red in the back. So it looks really cool. He's got his number six there. Still has the GRC on the side. That's holding strong in there throughout all of his releases and on the back here looks a lot more simple as well just has the gray carbon component on there French flag CRC and then the trophy logo so very nice uh, very nice just one of my favorites unfortunately did not get a redesigned spoiler still is the same logo or same spoiler number six and CRC but still a very nice racer I'm happy with Raul Raul said rule because usually he's one of my least favorites but this time He's actually one of my favorites. So here is Nigel Gearsley, the Carbon Racer Nigel Gearsley, and one of my favorites too. Looks really good like this, and now the expression may look familiar to you guys, and that's because it is taken directly from the Nigel Gearsley with flames here. The eyes are the same, now the mouths are a little bit different. He's a lot more happier now, instead of being kind of partially blown up now. So. The eyes are the same, but the mouths are different. So I, I always thought that it looked very similar. So now I can confirm that these expressions are the same. But it still looks really nice though. I'm glad they changed it at least from the original here. Now, Nigel Gearsley even did get a new expression. Oops, I just hit my cars. A new expression in the Ice Racer series as well. So he's getting a lot of uh, new expressions, which is nice. 
And uh, on the front there, not too much of a difference. He doesn't have the Carbon Racer logo, just has the uh, British flag in a different spot. Doesn't have the all no on the front anymore. Now I really like how the green rims stand out on him. It, it just looks really cool. I'm really happy about that. Looks very nice. And I love how the green, his green kind of like stripes, these light green stripes here look a lot better because usually he just kind of had them that blend in, blended in with the rest of him. But now they kind of stand out a little bit more, which I really do like about them. And there's nothing really much else to say. His spoiler is the same as previously. And on the back, a lot simpler now, it just says CRC and that's it. No other logos or anything like that. So it's just a very nice car all in all, one of my favorites. I don't know why, just I really like the color green on him. So now let's move on to Lewis Hamilton, the last one I have in the case. Now the next one will most likely be Rip Kuchgonski and who knows if they'll finish this series. I hope they do because I feel like all the racers would look amazing in these carbon racer versions or I guess you could say paint schemes now not one of my favorites because of the colors are so similar as you can see very very similar now he did get a new spoiler which looks really cool you may not be able to tell but if you look closely um, it's just a lot more thicker I guess you could say and the his newer version is a little bit more thicker so you could put the number two on the side there and that's a lot more visible on the back here if you can I mean they're very similar though but uh you could just kind of see a slight difference in them. So I'm happy that they're giving new spoilers to these. And actually, Rip Kuchgonski got a new spoiler as well. And it's the most drastic change of a spoiler out of all of these. He's got like a completely new design one. And it looks great. So search it up on eBay if you want to check that out. Now, they're just kind of the logos on the back here interchanged. So instead of World Grand Prix, it says CRC. And then he has the Carbon Cup logo and then just has the flag, which is split between the British flag and Granada. A uh, very nice, very nice release. And now one thing I do really like about him is of course the yellow rims, but also this kind of yellow portion right here that looks really nice. It kind of, it kind of reminds me of like a honey or beehive because it just kind of looks like that. So very nice. I give this series a high rating. I really do like all these carbon racers and I really hope that they make more than just these and Rip Kuchgonski because I feel like especially like Carla Veloso uh, or I guess you could say even Francesco Bernoulli, they all would look amazing in these coats. So that is all for the Carbon Racers case review and unboxing. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Let me know about your opinion on the vlogs. And uh, that's pretty much all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.